The ANC's 54th elective conference will go down in history as one of the most highly contested ever. At least six candidates were gunning for the party's top position. David Mabuza played his cards close to his chest, not endorsing neither of the two front runners. And his meteoric rise to the ANC's number two spot was not a surprise. So, who is David D.D. Mabuza? Our reporter, Tumelo Machoho, now looks back at his career. David Dabet Mabuza, born in August 1960, a former teacher. He served as Mpumalanga Education MEC from 1994 until 1998, when the province's metric examinations came under the spotlight. It transpired that the pass rate had been artificially escalated by 20%. The scandal claimed his scalp. Mabuza moved to parliament as an NP from 2001 to 2004. He then returned to provincial politics, elected ANC Mpumalanga chair in 2008. He was appointed premier after backing Jacob Zuma at the Polokwane elective conference. Two years later, Mabuza accused ANC veteran Matthew Sposa of defamation. This after Posa sent a memorandum to Lituli House accusing Mabuza of being an apartheid spy. Mabuza claimed 10 million rand in damages from Posa. When the new premier was appointed, his movement in the province was not good. Um, and uh, probably that's where probably we lost uh, the intimate uh, relationship because I served under the government of uh, Premier Ndaweni for a short time, of which I want to believe that was a step that he didn't like. And since then, uh, probably I was never in his good books. The lawsuit was dismissed in the High Court earlier this year. Two weeks before Nazrek elective conference, the two were involved in another confrontation. Posa alleged that Mabuza was operating a private army in Bumalanga to intimidate opposition. We cannot have an NC conference full of ghost delegates. And we cannot have an NC conference which denies legitimate delegates to go to the conference. It's fraud of the highest order. It's never happened in the history of the NC or any NC conference that this happens. Tell us your story. We have to fight corruption in the party. We have to fight corruption in government. Because if we don't defeat corruption in the party, we won't be able to control it in the government. Mabuza dismissed the allegations as fabrication. The ANC in Mpumalanga rallied behind him. Mr. Posa maliciously accused the provincial chairperson, Comrade Titi Mabuza, of having a personal militia which goes around disrupting branch general meetings and intimidating members of the ANC with the intention of achieving certain political outcomes. As the PEC in Pumalanga would like to put on record that Comrade Titi Mabuza does not have a personal militia and is protected by members of the South African Police Services. Mabuza was now focused on the elective conference in the number two sport. He started rallying his troops in 2016, increased the ANC membership. His plans were starting to take shape during the party's provincial general council. The unity narrative gained traction. He wanted consensus leadership Mpumalanga was the Kinpin province. The cat, as he is affectionately known, never declared his allegiance to either of the presidential candidate frontrunners. He was number two on Dr. Nkosasana Dameni Zuma's late, but he was neither seen at her campaign, nor did he endorse her. When Mabuza was elected ANC deputy president mid-December, Lamini Zuma supporters accused him of betrayal. They were hoping he would endorse her and that the province will help her ascend to the top position. <laughs> On 
Upon his return from Nazareth conference, a prayer service was held for Mabuza. Several ANC NEC members attended, but newly elected deputy president was absent. We want our, our deputy president to assist us with a new job. Because young people don't have jobs in Pumala. For a start, you have to ask God for what you are looking for. Then in turn, must God come and thank him, say thank you God. What we have been asking for, you gave us. When you look at the top officials, you look even at the NEC itself. It's an inclusive NEC. Uh, it's the African National Congress that is going to change the lives of the people of South Africa. Mabuza was surrounded by controversies, the spate of political killings, among others. He emerged triumphantly, and it is said he has his eyes set on the union building. I am serving the last mile. This is the last term as chairperson. I'm not going to come back as chairperson. And I'm serving my last term as the premier of the province. I'm not going to come back. Tumela Macho, SABC News, Mbombela. Ah!